Well, good morning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. Well, today we're going to open the easiest lock in the world. And why are we doing that? Well, I haven't opened a lock in a long time. I haven't done a lock picking video in a long time. So I thought it was time to start up again. A friend asked me to help him out with a lock problem, and it went pretty well. So I thought, maybe I'm not as bad at this as I thought I was. So, we got the easiest lock in the world to start with. It's a Fortress 40 millimeter. Now, of course, the question comes up, how do you know this is the easiest lock in the world to open? Well, there are a lot of locks that vie for the title of easiest lock in the world to open. Many of them are pretty poor locks. The easy way to tell, actually that's what this video is about, how do you tell what's an easy lock to open? And the answer to that question is bidding. Bidding is the little jagged teeth on the lock, I mean on the key. So what we've done here is we went to Walmart, found a cheap old lock, and looked through the various packages until we found the one that had the bidding that would be easiest to open. Let me show it to you. That's it. There, that's a that's a better view of it. You see how the teeth are almost all like in a row? Very easy to open. Which means it's not a very safe lock. Um, when you are opening a lock, you want to see this. When you are trying to protect your stuff, you don't want to see this. This is a viable lock here, it works. See? It's a Fortress 40 millimeter lock. And you could go down there and buy this. And you go down there and buy this and put it on your stuff. And nobody will probably ever bother with it. But if somebody was walking by and decided, hey, I want to see if I can pick that lock, boom, your lock's open. So what we're going to do with this today is we're going to single pin pick it, we're going to rake it, and then we're going to bitch pick it. Because that's the, the ultimate proof that a lock is weak. Because if you can bitch pick it, it's a weak lock. What is bitch picking? I'll show you. Give me a minute. First, let's start with raking it. Peterson pry bar. Got it in there. And the rake. Capiche handmade rake. A little hard here getting at this with the camera set up this way. There it is. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. So there it was uh, raked open in a couple of seconds. Now let's try single pin picking. Got a homebrew pick. I love the electrical tape handles on my homebrew picks. Good stuff. Gives you the certain ambiance, you know. Looks like you bought it in the back of a pool hall, you know, trading it for weed or something. Okay, single pin pegging. It is a little more difficult trying to go in these things like this. By this, I mean without any. Um, yeah, I thought I had it. I did have it. There it is. Single pin picked. A great advertisement for the fortress, huh? And now we get to bitch picking. Bitch picking means you just take a pick, you can even turn it upside down and just run it through there over the pins and watch this thing pop open. Let's see about doing just that. Okay. I'm going to get my vice set back up here. Now, I have a Peterson pick. These are very good products out of Peterson. I like them a lot. Okay. Pin side. This goes backwards. Frontwards. And bitch picked. There it is. Boys and girls, it doesn't get any more easy than this. Uh, 
What a waste of money. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, maybe I'll get some more lock picking videos back up. I don't know if I want to set up all the equipment and all that. I'm, I reached my skill level. I don't think I'm going to get much more beyond that. I opened an Abus 40 millimeter one time, and that's about as good as I ever got. But anyhow, have fun. Keep it safe. Keep it legal. Have a nice one.